Hey there, people have been talking about how you smell. Don't worry, they say you smell great. You probably panicked there for a second though, didn't you? All that time spent in front of the mirror trying to look and feel your best. Sometimes there's nothing worse than hearing your appearance isn't up to par. But did you know that there can be side effects to using deodorant? Let's talk about whether or not deodorant is bad for your health. Does deodorant cause disease? What chemicals does antiperspirant contain? Is the quantity of deodorant I'm using contributing to the problem? Wait, can deodorant really give me cancer? We'll be exploring all of that and more. While smell is one of the five senses, so is sight. And there's no better sight than one of our great bestie videos. Make sure you watch all the way to the end and hit subscribe. There are so many reasons to wear deodorant. Whether you work outdoors or have a hot date, antiperspirant can sometimes be the defining factor in whether or not people want to be around you. It's sad, but it's also true. Did you know that 90% of Americans between the ages of 18 and 29 put on deodorant every single day? For people 30 to 59, it's over 85%. Hey, wait just a second, it decreased. Where the heck did the other 5% go? While that certainly would be funny, the decline in the percentage may be due to some more unsettling factors. Since the early 2000s, a number of studies have been conducted on the side effects of antiperspirant. In particular, the aluminum ingredient has been given major focus. Aluminum-based compounds are essential in making the most of antiperspirants. Picture it as the dough to the pizza. You can't have one without the other. I'm really not sure why I use that example, but hey, everyone loves pizza. Stay with me here. Aluminum compounds act as a sort of barricade that blocks the flow of sweat from reaching the surface of your skin. Picture it as a shield and sweat as a sword. How's that for an analogy? All right, I'll stop. The aluminum compound essentially keeps your armpits smelling the way they do once your go-to antiperspirant is applied. However, this function has left researchers curious as to the long-term effects the aluminum can have once absorbed by the skin. Many even believed the aluminum compound was a primary contributor to women's breast cancer. This is due to the armpit's proximity to the breast. The fear was that the chemicals would absorb through the skin and slowly make their way to the chest area, eventually reaching the breast and causing endocrine disruption in the cells. While this belief became a concern to researchers, some studies actually found no correlation between breast cancer and deodorant. As it turns out, your pores act as a block, stopping dangerous chemicals from venturing into your body and causing harm. Scientists have also assured deodorant users that it's only large quantities of aluminum you should be worried about. This is something that isn't located in deodorant. That being said, you may want to check on how much aluminum you are actually consuming. It just so happens that large quantities can sink into your system and alter your DNA. This eventually can lead to cancer development. It has also been confirmed that this same amount can disrupt estrogen receptors, which also can be linked to breast cancer. But I say again, the quantity in deodorant is not the issue here. Just because a product has a low chance of causing breast cancer doesn't mean that there's zero risk across the board. Give us a chance here. Let's talk for a second about dementia. Now. Just because we've uttered the words Alzheimer's and deodorant in the same sentence doesn't mean you have to toss away your can of Axe body spray just yet. Hear us out. In 1965, a study was conducted on the bodies of Alzheimer's patients. Scientists discovered large amounts of aluminum in the brains of the deceased, prompting them to warn the medical community of the potential dangers brought on by aluminum-based products. But after a review of the evidence was conducted, experts found no clear evidence to support deodorant being harmful enough to cause Alzheimer's. While deodorant may not directly cause Alzheimer's, there is evidence to suggest it does play a part in dementia. 
Over the years, doctors have discovered that medications used by dialysis patients leave large amounts of aluminum in their system. Since your kidneys are not working as fast, they don't process and remove aluminum as quickly. This led researchers to fear that aluminum would dissolve into their system, eventually affecting their brain and causing dementia. Over time, deodorant brands would begin posting labels on their products warning consumers that they should not use deodorant if their kidneys are functioning any less than 30%. As for kidney issues, you don't really need to worry. The small amount of aluminum compound in the product won't accumulate fast enough to cause severe damage. That reminds us, your kidneys are really important. When was the last time you checked up on them? If you're interested in taking care of your kidneys, make sure you check out our video on 13 foods that make your kidneys healthy. Okay, my kidneys are operating fine, so I think I'm good when it comes to deodorant. Are you seriously gonna bail on us right now? What part of being besties don't you understand? There are plenty of other issues brought on by antiperspirants. How about all the allergies it causes? Wait, what do you mean allergies? I've been using this Dove stuff for like years. I haven't had one allergic reaction. Well, have you ever heard of contact dermatitis? It's normally what occurs when your armpit is having an allergic reaction to deodorant. It's normally followed by a red, itchy rash that forms in and around your pits. Not exactly something you want your date to see. The numerous chemicals in deodorant can also cause something known as fragrance allergy. This can affect up to 4% of the general population. That's assuming most people around the globe use some sort of odor-fighting product. Along with fragrances is another important ingredient you should know about. It's time to discuss parabens. Parabens are preservatives found in body and skincare products. This ingredient helps give your product a longer shelf life. However, it may interfere with your shelf life. With women, parabens have the potential to interfere with the production of estrogen. An ingredient known as phthalates can have the same effect on men with testosterone. It can affect your ability to reproduce as well. There's also evidence that suggests that phthalates play a role in lowering IQs, as well as aiding severe asthma. So if you suffer from breathing problems, you may want to look into what type of deodorant you're using. Hmm. I guess this video has been useful after all. If you're looking for simple vocabulary, this isn't your lucky day in that department. Ever heard of triclosan? It's a chemical in deodorant that's meant to fight off bacteria. While it does do so efficiently, many researchers have linked the substance to both bad hormonal activity and poor genetics. Want to hear something even more disturbing? Over 75% of Americans have had traces of triclosan found in their urine. This is not a drill. Are you going to be more careful about using deodorant? Sound off in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe for more great content from your bestie. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.